Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to make a long Cosmo. Now, this is a variation of the original Cosmopolitan cocktail, which was repopularized in 1998 by that HBO special, Sex in the City. But what happens when you take that original cocktail, stick it in a tall, long glass, and change the proportions a little bit? Let's find out. Now this is a simple six ingredient cocktail that we're going to build directly into the glass. And we'll start by using some vodka. Now I'm using Alberta Pure Vodka. And what we'll do is start with an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Now you could, however, use something like a vanilla vodka just to give you a slight variation and a change. But your second ingredient is going to be a little bit of triple sec. And I prefer this, it'll give you a little bit of sweetness, although you could use a Cointreau as well. And we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. So now what we're going to do is add our sweetener. And we're going to do that by using a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And I'll put the ingredients and method how to make it down in the description down below for you. But we're going to use a full one ounce or 30 milliliters. All right, now we're going to even this out a little bit with lime juice. And what we'll do is we'll grab our lime, cut it in half and squeeze out one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Okay, so what you wanna do next is stir this around and just give it a little bit of a swizzle like so. What you could do if you wanted is simply you could shake it if you choose to. You don't have to, um, but you just have to remember depending on the size of your glass, you'll get more dilution. So it's totally up to you. Now we're going to add some ice to the glass. And the only reason I waited this long to add ice is just because I wanted to be able to stir it nice and consistently. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. So next thing we're going to do is add your cranberry juice. Make sure you use an unsweetened cranberry juice and you can add in one or two ounces, totally up to you, but you wanna do it slowly with the back of your spoon so you can get it to layer. Oh, beautiful, look at that. And now we're going to finalize this with a little bit of soda water. Use whatever your choice is. I'm using Canada Dry, you could use Schweppes. And you know what, if you wanted to give it a slight twist, you could use some flavored uh, soda water. And then just top it up like so. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do is garnish this with a bit of a lime wedge, and what we'll do is grab a straw and we'll give this a try. Immediately you get a little bit of that lime and a little bit of that cranberry, but what we'll do is we'll just give this a little bit of a stir just to mix everything together. Mmm, that's really good. You get that cranberry, you get that lime, you get those hints of orange, absolutely fantastic. What I'll do is I'll put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time to my channel, hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.